Yeah, I mean, it's a big game. We know it's a big game. We're really excited to play it, and um, we're just looking forward to having a fun day Saturday and playing the best that we can. I think that defensive pressure is going to be really big for us. I think we need to play with a lot of energy and just play together as a team, make sure we're all on the same page, and uh, just keep each other, just keep encouraging each other and keep, keep our team up and play the best we can. Uh, it was pretty good. Um, you know, we had a long break. We were in Puerto Rico, and then it was Christmas break, so we came back maybe a little bit rusty, but we still um, play pretty good, had some good energy, and hopefully we'll have even more energy this Saturday. Um, I mean, Washburn's always a good game. It's always a good rivalry rivalry game, and we're just really excited for it and want give to our, give it our best. Uh, I think we've mentioned last time we played them here on our home floor, it didn't go the way we wanted it to, so this is a chance just to get that taste out of our mouths, and uh, we're looking for the win. Yeah, we have this uh, little break here where we don't have school, so a little extra focus with basketball, and like Addie said, we were in Puerto Rico, had a couple games there, came back, got Baker to maybe shake the dust off, and now we're really going to get into that rhythm where you've got MIAA teams twice a week, and um, we just want to try to be consistent and get uh, this Washburn win and then head into next week feeling good. Yeah, I think that um, we're coming into practice locked in and just try to listen to, to what coach is telling us and um, yeah, I think we're ready. Uh, we just need to come in with an attack mindset, take it to them, um, be strong on defense, but also just have the mindset that we can put the ball in the basket. We've got a lot of people who can score it and just take it to them. Now they're playing very good basketball right now, Greg, and they, uh, they're, they're just doing a really good job defensively, and they're, uh, they're taking care of the basketball on their end, and so for us, we're going to have to be able to execute some offense, for one, we're going to have to be able to get some open looks and be able to shoot the basketball well and make some shots, and then we're going to have to make sure that uh, we don't allow them to, to turn us over and get points off, uh, points off defense. I think a year ago in here, we turned it over. 20 times and they got 22 points off the of turnovers and you know that's something that just can't happen. I thought we had good energy. I think that's that was very key. I mean, when our team plays plays active and they're uh, bouncing around, kind of flying around a little bit and they're energetic, then we do, you know, we play a lot better, you know, which is very key for us. Uh, and then I think uh, we just had multiple people be able to score the basketball. I think we had five people in double figures. So we share the ball on that level and people are able to get different shots up and have opportunities to make plays and makes us a more potent team on the offensive end. I think everybody enjoys that. I think just knowing, uh, uh, I think just coaching 20 years of, of women's basketball uh, just seems like that the, they like to know that, you know, what's up next and what we're, what we're supposed to be doing. And, you know, having that regular set schedule, like this is what's going to be like every day, it just helps their routine. I think they like having a routine and getting a routine and hopefully one that's a good one is with uh, us playing good basketball, something that we have going forward. I just think historically the rivalry is just uh, it's, it's unique. It's, uh, it's the longevity of it. You know, it's un unprecedented. And then uh, the historical um, success of both programs over the years make it even that much more intense. So when you look at all the MIAA championships, tournament championships, uh, even national championships, one between the women's basketball programs, it just makes it just a, an enormous rivalry. And just uh, everybody around town, hearing everybody talk about it, uh, as a coach, it's just one of those things that you like to take your team into a game, be able to play in a competitive environment like that. And, and I, I think on Saturday, just looking forward to having uh, the communities of, you know, of Emporia and Topeka coming down here and, and uh, you know, playing a great competitive game in white. Uh, I think uh, just the excitement of that is, is something I look forward to.